Hey, what's up, Charter fam? Thanks for joining the show today. First off, I am not a financial advisor, just a lonely crypto bro who loves investing in different crypto projects. Do not invest in a crypto project that we may bring to the table, all right? Join our Telegram group. Links in the description where we find and share new crypto project info. Do not invest money you cannot afford to lose because this is crypto, baby. You'll go broke. Hey, what's up, Charter fam? Today's video, we're just going to take a look at some charts and uh, see what we can see out there and just bring up a couple of things that I've been noticing about these charts. And then maybe we can hop onto deck screener in a couple of moments. But as you guys already know, everybody's bags are looking horrible. I mean, there are people that are missing just thousands and thousands of dollars right now. Everybody's hurting. I know, I know, I know answered a couple of phone calls today people are very very concerned whether they should sell or not and like i told them don't sell that's my thing i, I wouldn't get don't get faked out you know what i mean this is just uh this little thing is telling me to join and all that i just use the free version i plan on one day um to you know get the premium version but um yeah don't get faked out you know, this bull market, we've already been warned. You know, if not, there's plenty of YouTube videos that are out there that are warning uh, that are warning everyone about these dips that come about. Um, they come about during the bull market. Nothing is always just up. It always retraces back because if everything was just going up, then there wouldn't be any, any more new money coming into the market because the prices were already skyrocketed. So no one can get in. So since no one's getting in, up there everybody gets scared up there and they end up selling not everyone but a lot of people they might see a couple of sell orders come in next thing you know the whole flock's running behind them um selling so you know we just got to kind of hold strong um until we can kind of uh you know work out whatever's going on here but this is going to be bitcoin on a daily Okay, and we are having a little bit. I mean, it pulled all the way down to that 61 mark. So that's crazy right there. That 61 mark, I mean, 57, 57K Bitcoin. That would be very interesting. Um, like I said, some, I mean, I'm very sure if you are heavily invested right now and you bought way up here. Um, yeah, I know you're very concerned, okay, with it dropping all the way down. But one thing I will say is if it does decide to come back down to this 52 mark or, you know, somewhere around this area, it sure would be a good accumulation area. Good area for you to accumulate really quick because you got to do it fast because it's not going to be that price for long. Believe me, people are going to be very upset. But at the same time, if it hits this limit, oh, they are going to be jumping on that so fast, buying that up. So that it's just going to be nothing but a wick, pretty much just a wick because uh, that candle is going to get ate up so fast. So hopefully you got your limit orders and all that. So if you happen to have them set right here, you're a lucky person. All right, you're lucky. But um, anyways, we're at about 64, 8, 62. Um, I will admit I purchased some more Bitcoin today. I think I got in at about 62 something, somewhere like that. It was around 62, a little earlier. So I kind of got lucky. Um, but that's Bitcoin. I'm sure you guys have seen enough Bitcoin videos today. But we know Bitcoin is going down. But it's also picking back up slowly. But surely, whether that little piece of candle that's pulling up whether that's going to sustain and pull us back up to that that high 68 mark 70 range not really too sure we're just going to have to wait it out this right here is going to be the cardano chart people give cardano a lot of slack all right i remember um cardano when it was you know it was cheap cheap um but a cardano right now is about 46 cents um, this is a super sale. Look at that. Bang, bang. It dropped all the way down to that 39 cent mark, 40 cent mark, something like that. Um, so it's pretty much, it's looking the same, same thing. Like if you come back to this Bitcoin chart over here, you know, you're, you're seeing this, this M pattern, you know, this nice little M pattern going on here. Same thing like here. This is going to be Cardano. 
So same thing here is going to be like a little, you know, if you stretch the chart out a little bit, you know, um, you get that same M pattern. Okay. Um, before we whoop over there, let's go ahead and turn this off. But um, let me see. Hold on. All right. So like I said, we are at this 46 cent mark. I mean what I always tell people don't fight the trend okay this is that falling knife that I'm always talking about okay so if this is coming down these these buy orders came in because they're trying to push it up the bulls are in the house the bulls are trying their best to push it up but it doesn't look like it's working there's not a lot of strong sell strong buy pressure in there demand is not fully in the house right now so I mean, if you ask me, you know, because I deal with meme coins a lot, this is not a meme coin, okay? But, I mean, every time I see when they start fighting that trend, you can see it's obviously going down. Um, and, and you're trying to fight that trend, trying to pull it back up. Uh, if you ask me from my experience, it's going to flip around, flip red and come back down. So if it does do that and it ends up blowing through all this, it has nice little support resistance, support slash resistance area right here. Okay, so I think that this is where we'll get our bounce and then it's going to bounce back to the upside. But we're just going to have to wait to see what's going to happen, all right? This is going to be the Elon chart. Um, Doglon Mars. Um, <clears throat> I've been holding Doglon Mars for a couple of years now. Uh, so we're all just patiently waiting pretty much okay this is that M pattern once again okay here's that little round little bouncy area where you can obviously tell that they are trying to push that price up but the bears are not having it okay the bears want to push this all the way down the question is how far this is still in the daily the question is, how far are they going to push it down? Because you see a nice little area here. Call it a support resistance area right over here. Okay. If it busts through this resistance right here, if it can blow through that, to be honest, I don't know where the hell it's going to go. <laughs> I'm just going to let you know that. We don't even know where the hell it's going to go right now. Okay. But, um... I think what we can do is you can go off, you can look to the left a little bit and kind of go off of some previous, uh, you know, kind of issues or whatever the case without doing too much. So these are just going to be areas. So as you can see, look, the buyers are in the house. The bulls are trying to push it up. Same thing. They're fighting that falling knife right here. So that's kind of, you know, kind of stinky. I kind of think it's going to reverse from dealing with meme coins and push back into this area right here where it's a whole bunch of zeros, 1598. This is kind of like where I'm thinking that it's going to be where we're going to see our bounce for Doglon March. Now, where it's going to bounce, I am not really too sure. You know, um, Doglon Mars, I haven't really been seeing too much, you know, smackatization going on. Like, it's not really smacking this year. You know, like, you know, I, I haven't really been seeing. It's basically what I'm saying is, is like, it's not doing what, like, Pepe, what I'm seeing my Pepe and what I'm seeing, like, um, you know, um, uh, my Milady meme coin and things like that are doing. But for some reason, these patterns are looking kind of, you know kind of strange i am thinking that there's gonna be a strong bounce coming but we're just gonna have to wait and see all right we're just gonna take a look right here at um this is going to be gala this is gonna be a token where i am um, uh, i have a nice bag of gala i'm actually trying to purchase some more and this is the same thing okay if you want me to pick it back out this is the same thing Okay, so you can just do, oh wait, that, that's just, that's horrible, that's horrible, um, you can do something like this, that same little M pattern that's going on, and this is that little same little area, and you notice that it's the same on all these charts, 
you have that little buy area where everybody's trying to buy in right here all the bulls are trying to come and push that price up but there's just not strong demand right now to me like i say dealing with those meme coins when it's coming down like this this is obviously a downtrend okay for me you know um you know that's a downtrend i mean I'm, I'm sorry you know you might be able to look at it in another way or whatever but that bad boy is going down so i mean you can pretty much ride it but we're at this little area here okay we're here pretty much now okay just gonna give it a big wide little area okay i know it's not exacting blah 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 whatever the case may be but we are here okay we just have to wait and see if this ends up turning red okay supply comes into the house like it's already in the house okay but if supply comes in the house supply is going to drop it down okay this is gonna blow through this resistance and I am imagining will come down over here into the two cent range okay maybe the high two cent range for gala maybe a low two cent range for gala but but um you know we just have to wait and see you know it could bounce here and just take off you know uh it could do its own thing um this is shiba inu okay i think i need to hurry up and get the actual uh premium because i'm tired of having to reset my charts but it's the same thing check it out you're seeing the same this m shape m pattern and then right here you're seeing that buy up okay this is where the bulls are trying to push that price up okay um like i say the way i'm looking at the chart this is looking bearish this is looking like it's on a downtrend still it still has a little bit of a way to go so there's a chance it could bounce and take off. But if it ends up blowing through, that is just horrible. But if it ends up blowing through this area, it might have a really, really good... Let me just erase that because that is just horrible. Um, hold on. It might have a really good chance if it ends up blowing through here. It's the same thing, like I said, these charts are all looking the same. Okay, so it's pretty much the same. If it happens to blow through here, it's already entered into this little area here, okay? Which is like a little resistance area slash support, whatever the case may be, however you wanna name it, okay? If it ends up blowing through here, you're pretty much in no man's land. The next point of point of a uh, point of a floor the next floor that i actually see is going to be uh, down here at the uh 899 mark somewhere around this area for shiv so that puts it back down to the five zeros it might even might not even come i think i probably went down just a little bit too much because you know they're not going to let shiv drop like that but it might have a good chance of dropping back down to that five zero mark nine eight something somewhere around there where it was a while back but who knows you know this market is hot you know these dips they normally don't let them last for long okay they it already went down to about the 1849 mark four zeros and they said that's enough and pulled that back up okay so we're just gonna have to wait and see about SHIB, but it has a really good chance of getting down to that five zero mark. If it does, oh, you can definitely know that that's gonna be an accumulation area for me. So I know I probably made this video long enough. We're just gonna take a look at some charts. You know, that was all. I'm kind of noticing these little M patterns on the end. I thought that that was kind of interesting there. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. We have to get to that deck screen or later I'll make another video on that so we can always try and find those 100x meme coins Most definitely like the video subscribe to the channel check out the links hop in that telegram you guys I'll be sharing plays and all of the types of stuff where we can turn into a real good community up in there. Have a good day